Okay, hey, hey, hold on. Give me a second, y'all. Y'all already know what it is, man. Yours truly in the building. Back at it again. With another motivational video for my chosen ones, my Hebrews, my Israelites, everybody who's pro-righteous. And I got a good one for y'all today, man. Let us all start with a prayer. You know, our Father, with our art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Come here, baby. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. Come here. As it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debts. No, this not the temptation. For yours is the power of kingdom, glory forever. God, I ask that you sanctify those listening to this message. I ask that it brings them edification and closer to you. I hope that they achieve true blissfulness and true happiness through faith and through the grace of Jesus Christ. Now today, we're going to talk about courage, you know what I'm saying? The Lord, he says, have greater courage, you understand what I'm saying? It says a coward dies a thousand deaths, you know? But a real man is only appointed once to die. See? We're talking about spiritual death, being a coward. You're not standing up for your purpose. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody punk you, you die spiritually. But as we know, as it says in Leviticus 6 and 8, keep the fire burning. Understand what I'm saying? This is symbolization of, you know, you want to keep the fire burning because, like, you know, God is good and a coward dies a thousand deaths. Keep the fire burning. Leviticus 6 and 8. Have passion. Sometimes it's okay to be angry. You understand what I'm saying? The Lord says, keep the fire. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget the vision. Keep your foot on these on these uh, demons' necks. You know what I'm saying? On these devils' necks. You understand what I'm saying? Till they tap out. I'm going to have to break the concrete and snap your neck, man. I'm stepping down that hard. You understand what I'm saying? The Lord ain't make no cowards, man. Come on, now I told you, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, when they say release the cracking, man, they were talking about me, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a beast from the heavenly skies, you know. I'm a monster, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a righteous um, fighting warrior for the light. You understand what I'm saying? And. On this road, you have to remember, you want to always keep that fire in you, you feel me? You don't want to be too cool with people, be too docile, you know, you're supposed to keep it lit, you feel what I'm saying? All right, nigga, like, candle lights and shit, right? People say you have to keep it lit, right? What that mean is like keep the fire burning and the candlelight is a representation of what the Lord was saying when he said keep the fire burning in Leviticus chapter 6 and 8. We all have to, you know, step into our callings and vibrate higher on different dimensions. Stop it. Stop. You know, and it's just best if, you know, you take the time out of your day to pray and thank the Lord for the little things that you do have. Stop. Such as grace, you know, the gospel of Jesus Christ. You've been able to walk and live every day knowing that there's nothing new under the sun. So you have to learn to master whatever you want to master. And through the grace of Jesus Christ, our time, we, we choose what path you want to go down. And I'm telling you, go down the righteous path. It's easy to do what everybody else is doing. You know what I'm saying? But it's hard to be like standing on something when everybody else say, oh, if you do this, this is lame and you're not popular, you're not cool, you see? It's hard for somebody to really have to change and go through that when people are saying you're an outcast and this and that, when really they're the outcast. God outcast them. God is saying you in. 
But they're trying to tell you that reverse psychology that that um like as if they run the world and they got a heaven to put you in and a hell to put you in and kick they want to kick you out of heaven they can kick you out of heaven they can keep you as hell as long as they want to but I'm gonna tell you so none of these motherfuckers got no hell for you we ain't got no heaven for you understand what I'm saying. And you, you gotta be, you gotta be, pay attention to these jealous motherfuckers. Motherfuckers be jealous that they don't have courage like you, you know? Motherfuckers be jealous that they whole car got pulled, but you're still a reputable person in society, you know? They mad cause they didn't, they didn't sold out. You feel me? Got they sold to the devil, you know? But I, I kept my faith, and I've been giving. I gave my soul to Jesus Christ, man. Niggas giving their soul to the devil left and right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas giving their they, they life to the devil through alcohol. Niggas giving their life to the devil through these drugs. Niggas giving their soul to the devil. You know what I'm saying? Through these um, these things that they do. You feel me? And these things are not of the Lord. You feel me? And that's why I say it's easy to be fooled. They said it, it, they make it seem like. What's wrong is right, and what's right is wrong. You feel me? It's okay to sin. It's okay to be a thug, like, but it's not okay to be a geek. It's not okay to be a nerd. It's not okay to be smart. Something wrong with being smart, but everything's okay with being a menace of society. Something's wrong with that picture, man. You are, you gotta have to pay attention, man. I don't care any nigga talking about he thugging, bro. I don't care what street you from. I don't care what black you on. I don't, I don't give a fuck about none of that, nigga. The real thug, nigga, is the white man. Nigga, he's the barbarian, nigga. How you think he got this land? We not, we not African, this is America. You'll get your ass locked up. You understand what I'm saying? I, I really need y'all to understand that. It's not cool to be out here... Telling people to do the wrong things, you feel me? You're supposed to be righteous. You're supposed to be of the Lord. You understand what I'm saying? You feel me? You can't be of the Lord if you don't have greater courage. You feel me? If you back it down from time where it's to stand up and speak for your people, um, you know, you're not standing up for your right, what you believe in. You letting a woman boss you around. Or as a woman, you letting this man tell you what to do. And, you know, he's mistreating you. You're not standing up for your rights as a righteous woman in society. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to um, go out there and uh, smoke weed, you know? It's easy to go out there and drink alcohol. But what's not easy is putting on the jersey of the Lord and saying, I'm rocking for God. And then people look at you, oh, he's a church person. Oh, you think he's better than that? No. You feel me? Now they, they, now they're looking at you like you something less than, and actually you're rising. You feel me? In the eyes of the Lord. But they don't understand faith. They want to please the, the, the world. They want to have on the newest attire, the the best cars, the biggest houses, you know, shit like that, you know. But they really don't really care about what the Lord cares about. They're so deep in this shit that they, 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 they forgot the Lord. You feel me? Somebody that got so deep into their gambling addiction, they forgot the Lord. People get so deep into their addictions and forget the Lord. Oh, you you getting money now, but you, but, you, but you forgot the Lord, you feel me? People get so deep into what they're doing, it's like, you know, they start to become worldly. And you don't want to become worldly. You want to stay godly. And if you're not prayed up and still in this good book, I've seen, I seen some of the, the nice, lightest individuals turn dark because they wanted the world. They didn't want what God wanted. They didn't want to be kind. They didn't want to be have fruits of the spirit of um, generosity, being gentle and being a, a creative person, you know. They chose to be dull. Fuck everybody and get the money. So that's kind of like filling your soul and sitting around. 